Courtney Orlin. I'm in the ASUG News Studio, sponsored by NTT Data, and I'm joined by John Friesen of Monocle Systems. One of the great things about a show like SAP Tech Ed and Decode is that you can really get into the nitty gritty of the content around topics like Solution Manager, and I couldn't be joined by a better person right now to get into that. Monocle Systems is an SAP partner, run SAP partner, specializing in Solution Manager. So John, let's talk about a little bit of Solution Manager as it relates to the cloud. How do you see Solution Manager fitting into SAP landscapes as they extend in that direction? Right, that's a really interesting direction that things are taking. Uh, SAP has indicated that on the roadmap, they're going to be extending Solution Manager to provision against systems that are in the cloud. And it, it makes sense. What is Solution Manager for? It's about gaining visibility into your landscape and into your IT processes. So when you host a system, let's say with a third party provider or a, a software as a service provider, what's the first thing that you give up? It's visibility and control. So Solution Manager is about regaining visibility and regaining control of your own systems. So it's worth pointing out Solution Manager is included in contracts as part of maintenance and support, but yet we still see a lot of customers not leveraging it to its full extent. What are some of the challenges they're facing here? Well, the first challenge is understanding what Solution Manager is for. You know, since uh, Solution Manager, or since SAP came out, I was always impressed as a basis administrator with the comprehensive suite of transactions that you had to do um, log uh, monitoring, short dumps, and that kind of thing. But those are all tactical tools. And Solution Manager indicates a shift in thinking toward strategy. So for example, uh, we all know how to test the system with cat scripts and, and testing, but are you testing the right stuff? We all know how to move a transport, but are you moving the right transports at the right time and the right quantities and so forth? And Solution Manager gives you a strategic vision into those kinds of things. Uh, just, I feel like customers have a lot of trouble managing their Solution Managers too. It's a unique skill set. Uh, it requires a multidisciplinary background. That's something that we've been able to do at Monocle Systems is to help customers run their solution managers by doing managed services. And in some cases, we even host the solution manager completely ourselves and run it as a software as a service. So it just runs for the customer and they can just use it. And this is really new, a very new service and really cutting edge for Monocle Systems. That's true. I think we were the first on the market with this kind of service. And even SAP themselves has uh, come up with their own model called Solution Manager as a managed service where you can have a shared solution manager for run SAP partners like us. We can tell customers, shut down your own soul man and use ours. So it fits perfectly with our strategy to run Solution Manager in the cloud for customers. So John, you have over 20 years of experience you know, in SAP and a lot of that in Solution Manager. Now that you're doing Solution Manager as a managed service, how have you seen the cloud environment and the host, or rather, I should say the hosting environment evolved. You know, hosting is such a neat area. It's a really terrific model for delivering basis services, and we do a fair amount of ERP hosting in the cloud. Uh, one of the things I really like about it, it's often talked about in terms of reducing cost and reducing your headcount, uh, but it also is a really good model for basis. Consider the case, which we've seen many times, where maybe there's a bug in a certain kernel patch in SAP. When we see a bug in a kernel patch for one customer, we can put out an APB on that kernel patch and say, okay, we've got to make sure that we fix that kernel patch for all our customers. So we're able to deliver service for our customers that it's very hard for a standalone basis team to do. So it's a really terrific model for delivering a great basis service for customers. So we talked about the importance of this for maybe ease of basis administration and for offloading some of the uh, duties and administration responsibilities of Solution Manager on site. Let's talk about cloud infrastructure yeah. and the benefits of that as a whole. Sure, we, we were an early adopter of Amazon Web Services as a platform for running SAP and it's fully certified by SAP as a platform including for HANA. So we've been doing HANA hosting, ERP on HANA in Amazon's cloud and it's been able to uh, uh, enabled us to deliver terrific service for our customers. We can get a customer to the login screen of their development system a week after contract signing. We can do some really amazing things like uh, to reduce risk. For example, we're doing an upgrade this weekend for a customer and uh, what is the 
big risk of an upgrade project, that when you get to upgrade the production system, you have a problem that you didn't see in QA. It's very easy, though, for us to clone the, Q the production system, segregate it, upgrade it separately before we do the real upgrade, so we know we're going to go into a flawless upgrade on that weekend. Meanwhile, if we want to double or quadruple or octuple the CPU and RAM on the system so we can bang through that upgrade fast, we can do that, shorten the upgrade time, reduce risk, and in, in often uh, with Amazon, we're talking about a cost of dollars or pennies, and so we don't even bother charging our customer for that kind of thing because it's an advantage for us too. We want to deliver that service. And that the point here really is that there are options, right, still when it comes to hosting, and that some of these other cloud infrastructures really still will work for SAP customers. That's true. One of the things I'm really struck by is uh, when you have a very modern, uh, powerful platform like Amazon, if you uh, are organizing your team and your org chart in a 1990s mentality, you're still going to get 1990s results. So we've adopted a very modern approach in our organization to go along with that modern platform and it's enabled us to be very agile. John, thank you for your insight and advice and have a great show. Thank you. Thanks for watching our coverage of SAP TechEd and Decode for more news and customer stories. Please turn to asug.com and asugnews.com.